guys. Okay, so it's Wednesday, it's work in progress Wednesday video. Um, yep, I've just been playing around with the sewing machine, making some clusters. I did it in a two part video. Um, so yeah, you'll see that over two parts. The first one, I was laying them out. The second one, I sewed them together, which I've just finished. And there is no speaking or anything on that. I just, I was just playing. I've music on in the background, just getting into the swing of things. And I'm now just going to carry on and make some more. I'm not making clusters now, though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. A bit of hessian burlap. Um, and this, which is actually cut up from a cushion cover the backing on a cushion cover it's i'm not sure what sort of material this is but it's really cool it frays great um but it were a thick cushion cover um but yeah so what i'm going to do is because i love this i'm going to actually just lay this right over the top of this but through the middle like that and i'm just going to sew it sew down it so that it's on the middle of this all the way down and then this will be a base then for making more clusters so i'm going to just we'll overlap that a little bit actually because that's a bit of a scraggly end uh, yep i'm on what am i on well, i'm on straight stitch at the moment um i will move it up to a zigzag stitch number three sorry guys i will yeah, sorry. I've had people ask about the sewing machine when I'm using it. Can I show what I'm doing? Okay, so uh, quick tip for you. That were easy enough to do, but quick tip for you. If you're using one of these and you want to get back to zero, just turn your machine off and turn it back on. It automatically defaults to straight stitch and the machine default settings. But yeah, all I'm going to do is stay on machine settings and go for zigzag so number three on my machine is the zigzag setting and i am using the u10 or u10 whatever <laughs> uh, i can't remember off the top of my head what number machine it is or anything like that but all the details to that will be in the description um yeah so this i love this white material it's just so scruffy and scraggly and great so yeah, I am just going to basically sew this white material to the brown material with a zigzag stitch down the middle. Nothing fancy, probably not even straight, but I don't care. So yeah, it's going to get noisy. So I'm under now. I've got my presser foot down. I'm just going to push this button here. <clears throat> For those of you with my machine. Um... Oh, it won't focus. Yep, there you go. Reverse stroke needle position. If I push that, watch down here, it pops the needle in the machine, in, yeah, basically in for me. And then obviously, reverse stroke, stop button, also a backstitch button. I am on the lowest speed setting here, and I am also using it pedalless, footless. <laughs> it's doing it automatically basically. I'm using it automatically. So yep, yeah, I'm just gonna pop the on off button on. I'm gonna hold the reverse stroke needle position button just to back stitch and then I'm just gonna let it go all the way down. So and we're gonna do it slow because I don't like going fast. Um yeah so I'm just trying to keep it Basically, the presser foot in the middle of this. Like I said, it probably will go wonky because that's just me. You know what I mean? Well, you know, we're just making junk journals. The scruffier, the better, right, guys? So, this is perfect project for me. I just love how this is fraying all the time. Um, trying my best to keep. The only thing I'm doing is trying my best to keep this white material in between this brown bit here. That's about it. That's the only kind of um, perfection, if you will, that I'm looking for with this. But I'm just basically tacking it down. And it's not going to reach to the end, so we are going to add on. 
when we get there. But yeah, I'm not bothered if it's dead like directly in the middle. All I'm looking for, like I said, is this white material to be in between the frayed bits on the edge. Just tacking it down and making this a base. And we're nearly coming to the end, so I will get ready to backstitch. Once we get to about here, not right at the very end, about here, I will just backstitch once or twice and then I will stop stitching. So around about now I will hold that, it's gone back four times, let it come back and stop with the needle in the machine. As you can see, it's, we're not right to the end, there's some left, which is great. And then I have some more here. Um, it's not quite as wide. But that's fine. Let me just root through my little basket here and see if I have any more. It's just a heart-shaped basket. I've had it for ages. Um, oh, I've had it for years. It had soap or something in it at one stage. Let's see. Oh, that's a bit thicker than the other one, so that'll do. I've all sorts in here. Lay some ribbon and all sorts of stuff. Um, these aren't... Well, they kind of are scraps, but they're not. This isn't a scrap. This is just... A length of this ribbon that I have up on my pegboard up the top of there in front of me just cut off to smaller pieces to make it easier for me the same with this and this one oh, okay that is a smaller scrap but yeah so in this basket they're not necessarily scraps they're just pieces I cut into long strips to make them easier to use and I have some cheesecloth in there um right so this is wider than the other piece I was going to use so this is perfect it's still fraying like crazy which is awesome I love that but let's get some of this off there's too much here anyway but let's get some of this off or at least get it down to the bottom so it's not going to be in the way we'll deal with that later oh she says it frays at the other side <laughs> okay so I will pop you back actually I'm going to pull the machine forward Um, and then this I am going to just tuck under there with the presser foot up I'm going to just try anyway and <laughs> fiddly and just tuck a little bit of it under that piece like that okay press your foot back down and off we go and then when it gets to this bit where they join here I am going to backstitch just to give it a bit more security and then carry on that's it we're nearly done Obviously, once once we get to here, I'm going to start back stitching, and then we're done. Okay, so now I will back stitch. I let it go back three or four times, and then stop. And there we go. We are done. Get my scissors, and there we go. So we have now just created a nice new base for some snippet rolls and trim to go on. So I'm going to, I'm going to say I'm going to cut that off, but am I? Um, yes I am because I don't have any more of that burlap hessian left. I thought I might have had some more, but I don't. So we're just going to snip there, put that back in the basket. And there we go. So this will now be a perfect base for making some more snippet stuff. And um, a piece hanging there, so I shall cut that off as well. I wonder, actually, 
if I wonder what's it look like as a ruffle oh pretty cool but oh my gosh that'd be really thick no that'd be way too thick but it looks cool as a ruffle okay so we'll stick with the idea of a trim then um yeah i'm not gonna bother tacking it down at the sides of the zigzag stitch or anything like that because once we've got stuff on here we will stitch down this again um so oh, it's so cool i love it i actually really love it as it is I mean, just imagine that folded over onto something, like sewn across there on a tag or something like that. That's a really cool base, is that? So there's quite a lot to be done with that. However, I will just cut. Let's have a see. Um, where's my tape measure? Have you? Okay, we'll use this one. I could have used my ruler actually, but we'll use this one. Let's do what three inch ish. Yeah, let's just do a small one. So let's cut down here. That still gives us a really good piece, which I will put to one side. So, right, we have a three inch strip, which is great. That's like big enough to use as a little, little cluster on the bottom of a page, on the side of a page, on a pocket or something. Um, and let's just grab some bits and play for a few minutes. So, let's have a look what I've got in this little scraps box. Let's move you up and then you can see and then we'll just quickly throw this together and then we'll sew um okay so what do you think guys oh that's pretty maybe a bit of pink on there what about this Some of this maybe on there maybe there maybe a bit going across there no nope, don't like that um okay, let's think I like this one looks nice and bright and if we put that on we're gonna cover the white up aren't we maybe not um, That's nice. This is why I don't like making clusters because I'm just way too indecisive. The idea of a cluster is you just throw it on and leave it. I'm just way too fussy. Pop that there. Pop that there. Pop that there. That's quite nice. Nice little zigzaggy pattern. Um, Maybe then we can pop this on. Do you know what? I like that. So I'm going to put this back down to zero. Which is a straight stitch. And I'm going to just pop it in. This is tricky now. Okay. Let's just try and catch them. Oops, that one folded, but never mind. Backstitch. And stop. It's okay. Yeah, right, that put them in place. Okay, so. Right, that's tacked them in place, so that's good. Right, then we can work on, like, the top layer, sort of. So I think we will have some of this. Maybe some going that way and some going the other way. So let's cut two pieces. So that goes that way and that goes that way. So maybe crisscross there. The opposite. I have no idea what I'm doing. It 
No. I hate making clusters. Like I said, this is why. I like that. These are just coloured threads. So in um, knitting wool, that's it. <laughs> Some threads from wool. But I like that. Actually, I really like that. So I wonder. Get that in the middle. I think this needs sewing by hand a minute. So, I just so happen to have a needle and thread here from the last project I was doing when I did this. Where is it? Was it hiding? This one. I saw I sewed that one on by hand and it just happened to have pink threading, which is perfect for this. So, just gonna... Ow! Stab myself. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna tack that down. So that it doesn't move while I s when I saw it. Because that won't go through the machine, it's too thick. Okay, one more. Ah, ouch! <laughs> Don't saw through your finger underneath. Oh my gosh. I am such a liability. Okay, and then let's just tie off underneath. Pop under these threads. My sewing's not the best in the world and that made no difference whatsoever because I got a knot in it. Perfect. No, oh, it's okay now. Right, chop. Put that back in there. Right, so that's got that on okay. Get rid of them. Now, let's sort these out. Now, what are we on? Straight stitch, so I want a zigzag stitch, so number three on the machine. And I think we'll have one up there. One up there. And there, one there, one there. Can't get them to stay straight. Right, there, spread them out a little bit, and let's zigzag down them, just down the middle. Backstitch, zigzag to the end, backstitch, and stop. Oh, I like that. A nice, ooh, nice bright, simple one. That's cool. Okay, so they are attached. Let's cut them open. And can you still see? Yeah. I think I'm focused. Sorry if I'm not. I probably won't. Just my luck. Now that's curled. So I'll pop that over there. Pop that there. Pop that one there and that one there. Try and flatten it out. And then the same thing. We'll pop it under and zigzag. Back stitch. Back stitch. And stop. 
stop. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. Oh, I really like that one. And I'm actually going to just zigzag on the end of this one as well. In fact, not all straight stitch, the end of this one. And because I came in a bit far with that zigzag stitch, I should have been further out. I need to kind of tack these down a little bit more. <clears throat> so let's just quickly straight stitch them. Back stitch. I'm just going to back stitch all the way back. And then back again. Okay, perfect. And then chop the ends off that. I really, really like that now. I really like that. <laughs> that is cute. Scruffy and cute. Love it. Perfect. That's awesome. Okay, and now, because we are done, I'm not putting anything else on that. I might do when I come to use it in a journal later on, but right now I'm not going to put anything else on it. So let's move some of this stuff. Let's move the sewing machine straight because it's at an angle. Pull you down, sorry. I probably just made your stomach turn. That went a bit fast, I apologise. Um, yeah, there we go. There it is. Focus. How adorable is that? Um, yeah, so because these are a bit loose, I am going to straight stitch down this way, avoiding that knot um, as best I can. So let's go. That's it. Back stitch right back to the beginning. I came a bit far down, so I went right back to the beginning with that one. Yeah. Mm, kind of going off a little bit there because of that knot. So let's come back this way. Back stitch. And stop. And so cool. is still frame which is cool and then back down this side backstitch I forgot to backstitch no, not that it matters too much this stitching is now just more for fancy than anything it is secure so Back stitch and back on, and we're done. Cool. really cute. I love it. <laughs> That'd look really nice as a hair bow actually. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I'm just going to actually chop a bit of that off because I like the frayed burlap edge. So yeah, that is cute. I love that. Oh well, that weren't so bad to say. I had no idea what I was going to do. There you go guys so yeah there's my work in progress or your my for you <laughs> work in progress wednesday video um and a bit of a sewing machine play video yeah so i am pretty much back on track now with my videoing schedule which is cool um i can't believe everything is just so much more accessible now so yeah hopefully there should be a lot more variety of videos going on now <laughs> fingers crossed fingers crossed but i'm not making any promises um yeah so anyway thank you so much for watching guys 
and I hope you're all safe, I hope you're all well, um, yeah, oh, so cute, so cute, um, yep, yeah. so anyway, take care guys, stay safe, and I will see you all again soon, thank you for watching.